Hey, so see each his own, huh? Good afternoon, and welcome back. I missed you. It's been a while, folks, but we're back with more brick memories. The old boy, my brother Darren, behind the camera. That's him, right there. And we're at Lavodi's, and if you have been under a rock for the last two months, uh, Lavodi's has taken a town by storm, and it's out in the old Laurel Square, where, what used to be here, people? Pathmark. The Pathmark, Pathmark, we know it well. We went to Pathmark all the time. It was the greatest, and it had everything. But Lavodi's has a lot of stuff, too. Remember the Pathmark guy? He used to do the commercials. Oh, yeah, glasses. James Karen, the actor. Is yeah. that his name? Looked yeah. like an accountant. Oh. I don't know about you folks, but his voice always made me hungry. He showed as well. Yeah. But anyway, maybe camera three can do a little pan around the store. Give a little Lavodi's love here. This place has it all, plus more. And the Pathmark guy was also the bad guy in Poltergeist, just to throw that out there. That is true. And they have everything you want here at Lavodi's, from soup to nuts, and including espresso. As you can see, it is it is paid for. Uh, so come on down to Lavodi's, patronize this wonderful place. Uh, it's revitalized the mall here. As you know, it's been through a bit of a decline over the years. But uh, now it's looking a lot better, so let's take a walk outside. Ah, the great outdoors. Ah. to explore the old Laurel Square and see what's new. So this was all still Pathmark for a while, right? This was Pathmark for a long time. Everyone remembers it as Pathmark, I believe. And its counterpart, the uh, retail Kmart down the end. It used to be Kmart. Everybody knows that. Everybody hung out here or did something here. If I were Pacino, I'd probably say, what the hell happened? What'd you do with this place? It used to it be was Kmart. Here. Look at it now! Hoo-ah! Hoo, -ah. Hoo -ah. <laughs> After I was in Sea of Love, every movie I did, I had a southern accent. Who? You like that? All right. There's some bad Pacinos, but let me tell you, Kmart was the place to get everything. I wish I had kept the lid on most of those toys and didn't play with them because they would be worth a lot of money, but what kid does that? And uh, blue light specials in the eatery in the back. Oh, eatery with the popcorn and the ices. It was a cousin of the Slurpee. That's right, that's right. You remember. Oh, wait, and across the street, now on the corner, which is Leslie's Pool Supplies, that was a video store. I cannot remember the name of it. The rag shop was over there. Uh, over there on the right was the Rustler. Yeah, I can't believe this was Kmart. So many great times here. The eatery was way in the back. Over there, the sporting goods section where you could actually buy a rifle. And, uh, well, things were very different back then. I'd also like to mention that me and my friend John Michael got kicked out of Kmart uh, many times for acting up. Uh, got to the point where we walk in, security would look at us and be like, get out. I can vouch for that. I'm sitting here in the middle of what used to be the very large and well-equipped sporting department, sporting goods department in the old Kmart. Good times. A lot of funky music today. Here, I know we used to have Denny's Deli, Cohen's Deli. I think its uh, its predecessor was Denny's, I believe. Yeah, it was Denny's first. Uh, you had, there was a pizza place, I believe, and then Masco Sports. Masco you Sports? Remember Masco Sports and uh, Roseanne who worked there? Like every guy in town was crushing on her. Yeah. And I think one of our friends, he claims to have gone out with her. I don't know. And the late great. I don't know. We might have to get on the brick site to get some answers to that one. Yes, and the late great Jim Lang. Jim Lang, there. yes, the late great Jimmy Lang uh, worked there for a long time. And there was Baskin Robbins down there too. There was. This mall was the hub of uh, hub of commerce and fun and activity back in the day. Fashion bug, dress barn, pay less shoes. There are so many things in here. But the one thing that is held out, that is still here, you've got to see it to believe it. It's the photo center here in all its glory. Tom and I are happy to be back. And we'll see you on the next episode of Bricktown Memories.